I asked a friend of mine, a great physicist, Sean Carroll, how many civilizations do you think there would be in a Milky Way galaxy, a typical galaxy? And he said, none. I tend to say one. Somewhere between <laughs> zero and one, probably. But that's a guess. What, but do you, do you I want think it's a good be, guess. Brian, is that what it is? You sound like perhaps you have an optimism for it. And I wonder what's in underpinning that. I would love there to be. And actually, because it worries me, let's imagine that in our galaxy, 400 billion suns, there's just us that thinks, right? I mean, microbes all over the place. But in terms of things that mm. think, and can feel and in a very real sense bring meaning to the universe. All these things we've talked about, the beauty of these galaxies, they're not beautiful if there's nothing there to perceive them, right? They're just galaxies. So if that's it in this galaxy, then the decisions that we make now as a civilization have a galactic implications, right? If we destroy ourselves, for example, deliberately or through inaction, then it's possible that we eliminate meaning, perhaps forever, in a galaxy of 400 billion stars. And so that's it. I think that leads you to, it's a good working assumption that we have a tremendous responsibility, in a sense, not to do that. So I would be much more comfortable with our current predicament if the galaxy was filled with civilizations. Then I'd say, well, okay, it would be rather stupid of us to eliminate all this beautiful culture and science and arts and music that we've built up. But at least there's someone else that's doing that. But I'm not actually sure there is.